Okay, the purpose of this video is to help you determine if you have a Freon leak or if you have a defrost problem. If your refrigerator is not getting as cool as it did and you suspect that you are getting low on Freon, there are a few simple things you can do to check first and make sure you don't have a defrost problem. A defrost problem is usually shows itself right here at the bottom of the back panel of the freezer. These grills right here are the return vents for the freezer. Air flows in the grills through the coil. The fan then pushes the air up. It circulates through the freezer and some of it is pushed over to the refrigerator side and that is how the refrigerator gets its air. As the fridge is cooling, the coils in behind the freezer here, what the Freon does is it extracts the heat away from the air passing over the coils. Well, when you take all of the heat away from the air, the only thing left is cold and that is why the coil starts to freeze up. That is the actual chemical reaction made by Freon specifically. Now if you do not see ice building up here or anywhere along this back panel, chances are you don't have a defrost problem. Then you have to investigate into the back of the refrigerator. And where you would do that is you would walk around to the back, pull the back panel, and mind you, please be careful when you do this. Make sure to unplug your refrigerator first. Once you pull this back panel, there's a couple things you can do if you don't have any tools. First, you can feel right here where this fan blows. You want to see if you feel any warm air. Mind you, it's just lukewarm. It's not going to be hot, but just lukewarm. Then. If you're inclined to do so, you can take this panel off and you can actually feel the compressor. If the compressor is warm and vibrating, then chances are it's running. <clears throat> if it's cold and you feel nothing, no vibration, maybe it's not running and maybe you need compressor components that which start the compressor. Either way, you would have to determine one of these things. Now, if you have a meter, you can actually go to the power source and put an amp probe on one of these wires right here. And if you split this and put an amp probe on this one wire, while it's in run mode, you can see if you're pulling between one and three amps where most refrigerator compressors run in that zone. Well, that is hopefully enough to help you to run to narrow down the results of what your refrigerator is doing. Good luck.